Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree and welcome to Thrifty Canucks and Thrifty Thursday. There's quite a big pile of stuff. It's actually for the last two Fridays that I've gone to the Lions Club garage sale. So Thrifty Canucks is for Canadians that love to go thrifting and just to show what we found. So let's get started right away. Now these here I bought at a dollar store and I had found a lot of stuff that could go with a mermaid or ocean journal. So I seen these and I bought them because I thought they would go with all that stuff. So there's some little wooden mermaids and some cool lock and keys and they're fairly heavy actually. And they're just kind of a weird rainbowy color. So, and then there's some um, seahorses, some um, starfish, and some mermaid tails. And they go quite well with some of the stuff I got at the Lions Club. So there is some craft envelopes, just your normal everyday envelopes, but I like the color. Now the Lions Club has a few huge grad shed sale for a good part of four to six months, depending on how much help they get and stuff. And the curling rink is just full of tables and stuff. So, And these, you can see that they're aged a bit. And they're like a um, vellum, I guess, envelopes. And they've got a pattern. I don't know if you can see the pattern on there. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's got a cool pattern. And there's actually... These ones are um, just um, single layered, I guess. And these ones here are a bit bigger. And they've got like a liner. I believe they were probably some kind of invitations. But I thought they were pretty cool. So there's quite a few of them. And then they had a whole bunch of cards. So there's these ones here. And they're just blank. So I thought they were kind of nice. So I thought I could use them for either sending with a journal that I sell or within a journal. And then there's just some odds and ends. There's these bunny ones, which I thought were really cute. There's a few of those. There's a couple of the loons. And then there's a few of these ones. And all these, they, they have something on the inside, but I could use them in a journal or to send to somebody or whatever. They didn't have envelopes, but that's okay. And then there was a couple of these, which I just, I liked the picture on it. I thought it'd make a great journaling card or something. And these ones open this away, which is a little bit different for a card, I thought. And they just strike me that they would be a little bit older, these ones. So there's a couple different, um kinds there and then there was this one here of a cardinal which I really really thought was pretty so there's all those and then these ones are brand new they're still in the package um the cost of the cards was 275 oh I'm just looking at this it says Jensen's Jensen sales Jensen is my last name but this one here, they're, they're kind of like a foil card. So there's a couple of this little fairy, which I thought would be really cute if I do another fairy journal. And there was these ones here, which is a world map. It's like a, a vintage style map, even though it's like the foil. But I thought that would be kind of cool. And then there was a couple of fish ones, which will be great for in a ocean or mermaid journal. 
all. I'm sure you're probably getting a bunch of glare because they're wrapped in plastic and whatnot. There is a bag of odds and ends of jewelry and bits and pieces and who knows what all was in the bag. Some of it I will probably not use. Some of it I will. There's some nice chain. There's a necklace here that I could take apart. There was this here thing. Now this was a um, Christmas ornament. Try to get that off. You hang it up. It's like blown glass or something here. But I thought I could use these little things in making of some tassels so kind of cool and then there was these earrings which are just like a sequence style thing which are shells which of course would be great for a seed journal of some kind and then there's a bunch of these types of beads from a necklace which will be really good in arms and whatnot like that but yeah just kind of a mixture um, of stuff some nice um carved beads as well so yeah so i figured i can put all that to use pick up all these little beads so they don't uh, We'll roll on away anyways. Just put these back in here a bit. Let's do a scoop here of all these. So yeah, I'll take all those apart and make use of all the pieces. There is a bottle of stickles. Frosted lace. So that'll come in handy for something. There was two purple um, coats, number 30, which is what I use for my beads and my little, or my uh, button flowers and my little dresses and stuff. So grab those. These were two other things that I found that kind of a sea theme. They're actually fridge magnet so I'm hoping I can pry off the magnet on the back but I thought those would look really good on the front of a journal and then there is this white fuzzy yarn it's a little bit of a mess but I'm hoping that um, it will dye good and then I could use it. I'm finding myself more and more wanting to use um, or buying white cream colored wools and stuff and then dyeing them to whatever color I want. So grab that, grab that. Now all of this stuff, I paid $10 for all of this stuff combined. So something that I was not going to buy again anymore was playing cards. But, yeah, I got a little stack here. <laughs> so I will definitely put some of these in the shop. So here's a couple Canadian geese with a, a sunset background. So I thought those were kind of nice. found lots of flower cards so these these ones here and they're all just the, the the playing side of the card are just very plain and but to decorate them all up and stuff would be great but these were nice I like the, the flower and whatnot on those there is these purple flower ones And those were really pretty. I like those ones a lot. But when I seen all these there, I thought, oh, I gotta grab them and throw them in my bag. 
because that's usually what I do. I just take a couple bags and I just throw stuff in the bag and then you kind of go out and, and uh, yeah, they don't even really look through the bag because everything's donated to them, of course. So, And then there's these lovely rose ones, which are nice. Um, and I haven't decided how I'm going to sell these yet in the shop, if they're going to be just a mixture or you know like six of one card or something not really sure yet but once they're in the shop you'll see and here is some cactus ones which are quite cute and you could cut these out and use them they're these are about the size of a domino the actual size of all the cards look like your normal size of cards And then there is this lady, which I thought was quite cute. Kind of old-fashioned looking. Quite bright colors. The, the lady's in a gold dress. So those are pretty as well. These ones here I really like. So there is the Cardinals. So they're all the same. I don't think these have actually ever been used, even though the package was opened and stuff. If they were used, it certainly wasn't very much. And then there is this one here, the Eastern Bluebird. So very, very pretty. I like these. So I'll definitely keep some for me and share some. Then there's these with the kitties, which are very cute as well. And they go together quite nicely because they're kind of the opposites. This one's green with orange and this one's orange with green. So it's kind of nice. And then there was some horses. And these kind of look old fashioned as well. So those are quite nice too. Great for a uh, Western or an animal theme or a farm theme journal or something. So there is all those. And those off to the side. One lonely little doily. It's uh, quite discolored, but the color was kind of nice with the cream and the little bit of green around the edge. There is this fabric here. Now this is quite a thin fabric. I have no idea what kind of fabric. It's see-through. Very colorful, but I think if, if it rips into strips, it'll make really nice, like, sari silk type strips. But it goes from pink to pink. But in between, there's a green, a brown, orangish yellow. So beautiful color combination in, in it all. And there's a lot. There's quite a bit here. So that's nice. And there's this chunk of lace. It's kind of a peach color. Um, actually, there's two pieces here. And they're a good yard long of this so it'll come in handy for something couldn't leave it there as I say they fill up the curling rink and and they're constantly bringing stuff in and whatnot so we usually go every Friday I meet up with my sisters and we go there we go shopping and then we go out for lunch so there was this I presume it's probably a placemat 
but I loved how these were different colors. So that'll be really nice and it, it's quite a heavy linen. I have no idea if it's old or not, but that there. Then there is this. This actually came in a little organza bag type thing. And it's got buttons, and I think it's actually a shirt of some kind, like just something you'd throw over. But the colors, it's probably a yard and a half long. But look at the butterflies on there. And it goes from a fairly dark, dark peach to a off yellow, and then back to the peach. And I'm thinking, you know, could cut out the butterflies or just use it as like a page flip or something. But it's very soft and very nice. But you can see the buttons go along and then there's a break in the buttons. And then there's more buttons. So I think it's, it's meant to be like a little throw over top of your shirt or something. But I really, really like the colors in that. Then there is this, oops, there's this scarf here, and I just, I love the colors together, and it's just, I thought that it could go into an ocean themed journal, especially like the blues and stuff, but just a very nice scarf. I like that. I like the colors. Now we have this scarf. Quite a bright green, but it has the shells on it. So with all the sea related stuff, I figure, well, somebody's telling me that I need to work on some sea mermaid themed journals. So and it's kind of more, um, it's not a silky scarf. It, it's more of a cotton type material, I don't know. 100% polyester, but I think you could rip this into strips quite easy. So I'll have to try it and see. The ends are a little bit um, worse for wear, but that's okay. I don't mind. Now when I seen this, this is actually a top, but when I seen this, to me it screamed fishing net. And it's got some little sparkles in it here and there, like a, a plastic um, sequence. You probably can't even see it, they're like a circle. But I really, like I say, it to me it just screamed a fishing net. And it's like a little, just a little thing that you throw over your clothing and whatnot. So that was really fun. I like that. There is this. It is, what is it? It doesn't really say what it is, but it's a big long runner. Now it is Christmassy. But I think you could use these flowers and anything, but the fabric is really weird. Like, it feels like paper, but yet it feels like plastic. But it's not plastic, and it's not paper. But it's just a really different feeling of a fabric. But I thought like even this here would be make a great thing on a page if you cut it out a little bit and then used it as an embellishment onto a page. And it's quite long. It's probably close to two meters long. And then there's some little tiny like cherry looking things and stuff. So I can make use out of that. The little pieces that are a little too Christmassy. I'll put those into my Christmas box. There was this huge, huge tablecloth. 
big, 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 huge tablecloth. Um, I don't even think I could begin to open it up, but it's quite a nice weight. It'll be good for a cover or a flip inside. And it's a little Christmassy, but not really. Um, it's got like the fruits, pomegranates, and I presume those are cherries. Lots of beautiful leaves and whatnot, but it's big. It's really, really big. So there's lots and lots of fabric in that one. So there's that. And this book my sister gave me, um, she found it. She goes to all these um, little book swap things where, you know, there's just like a little tiny house, I guess, bin that people put books in there. Anyway, this was in there. She thought that I might want it, so... Um, there's the date on it. Copyright MCML11, whatever, I I. Um, I have no idea what year that would be. But would be really, really cute in a Western theme journal. Nice big huge writing which is nice. So yeah, so she got me that. And then I picked up this little cookbook. Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. It's from, and I think there was a date in it somewhere but I can't remember. Whether well, I've seen it in here or not. Doesn't look like a date. But I really like this size and that they're stapled. Because you just take them apart and then you use the whole page. Or the two pages, because you're going to get the two pages. And you just put it right in a journal just the way it is. And so I really like those sizes. Then there is this one. This is Chatelaine 401 Tested Recipes. Now this one was 1956. See the dates there? And the pages are... Um, they're like a magazine page. Like they're shiny, um, but not overly shiny. But they're very brown, so I kind of like those pages. So not that. And then there was this picture, which I thought was very um, ocean. There's um, ocean otters swimming in there. So I thought that would make a really nice card for in an ocean themed journal. And I hope it comes apart. We'll see, we'll see. But I'm sure I can figure something out to to save the, the picture from there. Then there was this. Now it's not leather, it, it's like a plastic. It's a really nice size. And it's a little ring bound. And I thought it would be really cute as a journal. Now there's lots of pages in it. Well, not lots, but they've got some nice pictures, nice poem. So I'm thinking I might be able to use these for my actual journal pages and make a journal out of this. But if I use an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, I can probably cut it down a little bit to make extra pages in here. So I think it's actually for um, like a funeral. 1996 it says there. Just looking at some of the um, titles in here. I'm thinking that it was to track like a funeral or, or something like that. A guest book type idea. But it was just, I, I really like the cover and, and there's some embossing around there and whatnot. I think that was kind of nice. So I'll make use of that. I'll make something out of it. 
And then there was this here, how to draw. And I don't normally buy books like these. But it had some really nice drawings in it. Like the pears. Um, there's animals. And flowers. Buildings. Which be. But then there's lots of sketches of like people in there. Which I thought were really nice. And it's a huge book a squirrel but two and birds and whatnot somebody's made some notes in the books well, actually no I guess that's right in the book itself but there's a nice like bee or moth and... but lots and lots of great and lots of these really nice people images which I quite like. So it'll be interesting using this. Some nice colored ones. I know you can't see too much of this because just the size of the book, I'd never get it in the camera. But lots of great images of all kinds. Turkey and chickens other animals and maybe I'll even learn to draw probably not some great fonts as well to use in there I've never used a book this size um, great horse picture too yeah, I've never used a size of a book like this. I'm not sure if there's a date in these or not. I don't see any kind of date. So I'm not sure if it's older or what. But that was kind of cool. So lots and lots and lots of goodies to put away now and whatnot and I've got to get some things together like the cards and whatnot for Etsy but I really enjoyed it and I'm planning on going to the Lions every Friday so they're open Friday Saturday Sundays till probably summer for sure and then they might close down for the summer who knows but it's fun going there and the place is huge and even while you're there people are bringing tons of stuff in and whatnot so every week there's something new but i hope you like this haul and check out my facebook group um feel free to come and join and post your pictures of what you've been making and whatnot and if you want to take part in the thrifty canucks for canadian thrift store folks or just anything you think you found that was thrifty um thrifty thursdays is put on by sherry at turquoise streaming her link will be in the description below so check her out as well and we'll see you soon in another video bye